Oh, you got stoned and you missed it. You got stoned and you missed it. You got stoned. Oh me, oh my. All right. I think it would help him, right? So, if he's Dracula's son, is he a vampire? He is half vampire. Who's his mom? Um, a woman named Lisa. She's in the uh, very beginning of the Castlevania series on Netflix. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I think I'm going to burn through that this weekend. It's only four episodes. Yeah. You can burn through it in a couple hours. Yeah. Um... Like, I may not even get out of bed Saturday. I may just, like, grab the remote, turn on Netflix, and watch that. Which there are worse ways to spend the spend Oh, yeah, Saturday keep morning. me fucking laying in bed looking at Twitter. I need to cut that shit out. <clears throat> um. So, like, I'll probably... God, I, I've been trying to... Re okay, so I, I fucking... Like I said last night on the stream... Uh, because Dylan was on. I'm done with Skyrim. I've given it 16 hours of my life. And I can't give it anymore. Um. That's trying to play this game three different times. Yeah. Um. And I do not see the appeal of that game at all. Like, not in the story. Not in the combat. Like, not in the characters, not in the dialogue. Like, it just seems like a studio listed out a fact sheet of what makes an RPG and focus tested the fuck out of it, and that's what you got. I don't see any vision behind that game. Granted, I'm the gay kind of guy, too, that if there's any slight amount of vision behind a shitty ass broken ass fucking game I'd love the shit out of it oh yeah you know so Skyrim not my bag right um I like Fallout I don't like anything um who was that Bethesda yeah yeah I don't like Bethesda games I don't think I ever have I don't think there's a Bethesda game that I could be like oh that one I enjoyed I haven't gone left. I think there's a wall here. Yeah. Magically, Magically sealed. sealed. Magically delicious. So, um, I've been thinking about the channel. Yeah. Right? Um, and man, fuck advice columns, okay? Because there isn't shit to help how to grow your, your Twitch channel. I've spent a good number of hours reading about Twitch, right? Yeah. And, like, the number one thing is, like, you need to have a schedule and stick to it consistently. And I'm like, fuck you, okay? Yeah. We have consistently stuck to a schedule for a long-ass time. That ain't it, all right? Um, <clears throat> you need to interact with your chat. Well, what do you do if there ain't a damn person in the chat? Yeah, I mean, we interact with people when they're here, but... Yep. Um... So... There's also, depending on who you're reading... Stream things people are watching. Look at the popular games and make sure, you know... Like, uh, the things because that everybody's watching are streaming. You want to be at the bottom of the Overwatch pile yeah, with Yeah, and then there's the other, other post of, like, don't stream the popular things because you'll never climb out of the list, you know? Yeah. Um, so, we didn't gain much with Dark Souls. Um, we got a few random drive-bys, but that didn't do much. I, I still want to see if Demon Souls still, um tends to attract players. Although at this point, it's not a popular game. Um, <clears throat> so it may it may get a viewer or two. Um, but in thinking of combining the two things people are saying, of like having a schedule 
um, and not streaming super popular content, streaming yeah. unique content. I think either on like a Saturday or a Sunday, I'm gonna start playing my really old games. I mean my really fucking old PC games. Um, and come up, I don't have a name yet, I think, for it. Um, this is working out great. There you are. Now just don't get hit. <laughs> These guys were kind of dicks in Castlevania 1, too. As well. The hell of a death animation for that guy. What happens if you die? I uh, just goes back to the title screen. I realize that as is like, I'm going to find out right now. Yeah, right, right down now. So, does that take you to the save point? Uh, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to load back to where I saved previously. <laughs> so the, the other thing, and this is where I was like putting a pen in and coming back to, on the pens, I don't know, was... I actually talked a little bit about Dylan on this. Because I, I can... I can be a bit rough with my personality sometimes. Right? Right. <clears throat> um, and I'm, I'm, I try to be cautious of that. Especially when I'm asking someone's time. Even if I think they want to do it because I can be a little bit more rough I might not get somebody saying hey I just don't have the time or I don't have the interest and instead they're signing up to do something they don't want to do um but I know you have talked about streaming yeah because like you you've hit me you got the connection to the account and all that right um I kind of been on the fence about poking you with it of like, hey John, so like Saturdays or Sundays, right? You know, call out a time or I, I don't know what uh, your 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 rest of your schedule looks like, but if there's a time during the week, um, you could pick to regularly stream something. And that's what I really need to do is do one during the week more than likely because my weekdays tend to be more open than my weekends. Yeah, I'm just then starting to, to needle you into getting over the um the initial anxiety moment. It's it's a lot of inertia. It is, because like I kinda got through it a little bit because I streamed the Skyrim and, and some other things. And and doing the um the other, the, the, what I call it, crossing the streams? Yeah. Yeah, it got me to the point where it's like, okay, I'm back into it again. Um, but it's definitely, there's an inertia to it. There's definitely a moment of like, gotta get this fucking boulder rolling. Um, gotta get myself into the habit of just non-stop talking. Uh. Which is also difficult, because I'm, I'm not a talkative person at the best of times. It is a skill. No doubt to that. It is something that has to be practiced. You don't just get that. And as I was finding out, it's pretty easy just to fall out of it. These guys are assholes. These guys have always been assholes. They drop down from birds still? I don't think that there's as many... You know, because the whole thing takes place inside the castle, so I don't think there's quite as many... Oh, hey, cutscene. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? What do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same... I do you hear? I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Our card. Not the talkative type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long, farewell. So they voice acted this game. Yeah. 
Sure did. And kept the broken dialogue. Sure did. A person who speaks English. Yep. Just said, fucking give me the paycheck. What do you mean to read? There you go. Cash in this fucker. Better clear. Um, and didn't go, hey guys, um, yeah, Mike in the booth again. Uh, what the do fuck? you hear? Yeah, come Did on. Anyone ever talk like that? Can I just say, what do you do? Is that that cool? Why are you here? Can we can we do that? Still inquisitive, but. One kind of cool thing that uh, Bloodstains is doing, which is made by the guy who developed this game after he left Konami, um, and still stands as the only Kickstarter I've ever backed, um, he actually did get the original voice actor for Alucard to do a role in his new game. Oh, cool. But I don't know if he's even done anything else in terms of... Oh yeah, I forgot the stopwatch is really good. It was, if I remember from the early ones, it's killer on bosses. Yeah. Holy water, stopwatch, those are your... No, it's me, sorry, let me, let me get that. I don't really care about the 49ers look at the offseason because they're going to suck for a while. Speaking of sports. New, new topic. Yeah. Overwatch League. Yeah. Now that it's starting to shake out a little bit more, a little bit more is starting to get known about it. What's your thoughts? Um. I can't help but feel like Blizzard is trying to do a little too much on their own as opposed to just you know leveraging some of the already established uh, major gaming labels. That's a nice way of saying um, my thoughts, which is Blizzard's gonna fuck this up in the most amazing, spectacular, expensive way possible. Yeah. This will be a joke for years to come. Um... It is, it is to say, I have no real, uh, faith in Blizzard as a company doing that, because there's no, Oh, they, these are topless in the Japanese version. Um... Goddamn censors. Just an FYI. You can still see a little bit of ass, but whatever. This game's wildly inconsistent because uh, you can kind of see statues on or nipples on the CD statues. Oh, you got stoned and you missed it. You got stoned and you missed it. You got stoned. Oh me, oh my. All right. Hmm. So yeah. Um. A fuck ton of money is involved in this. To do something that has never been done before. That there is no template or model that proves this will work. This will work. Yeah, see, Nobody you can, you can has to make out nipples here. Yeah, yeah, you can. Nobody has regionalized esport teams beyond like country. And even right. then most of them end up having multiple countries of the same team in the competition, you know? And the biggest successful ones, <clears throat> Evo, the International, and all that, are just whoever the fuck enters. Yeah. They're, they're not like, oh, Chicago this year is looking pretty good for Evo, you know? Right. They made some changes in the offseason. No, that's never... There's no one been successful to show a case that people give a shit about a location-based esport, you know? No. Like, <clears throat> if you're following an esport, you're online. 
there's no reason to think that you are going to immediately identify with the hometown because you're already online. You're already going to, like, whatever reason, gravitate towards some other player, you know? Oh, this is a dude that likes Moe anime like me, you know? It's like, yeah. that's my guy. This is the guy that mains the character I like. That's my guy, you know? Here's your Alucard mirror, Matt. You just time freeze him? Does yeah. he get the time watch as well? That would suck ass. I think he gets other weapons. I don't think he has the time watch, but... <clears throat> that was a boss. Like I said, I remember the stopwatch being fucking amazing on bosses. I think there might have been a save point back here. Um. Yeah, there you go. So huge amounts of money in this thing. Um, and then they're also either directly or through a huge amount of bureaucracy shutting down all other Overwatch events. So either Blizzard has actually said no, you you can't run this, or I say like Knoxville wanted yeah. to do at the local games store uh, an Overwatch LAN tournament, right? Yeah. For Blizzard games, for most other games, there's a website that says, hey, you want to do a tournament? That's cool. Here's the column of things you need to do, and here's a column of things that you can't do. Or if you do want to do, you have to call us first. Right. Usually these columns are about money. You're charging money if you're having a payout over a level of X or any kind of monetary payout. You need to call Blizzard about a Hearthstone tournament. If not, and if it's open to anyone, and if you verify, you know, everybody's using Blizzard accounts and nobody's playing hacked versions and shit like that, right? Fucking have your tournament. You're good. We give you permission. This page gives you permission, you know? Do these things and not the others, and you're fine. But in Overwatch, uh, that doesn't exist. Everything is a, you have to ask us. And for the small town used game stores that would have a LAN party or something, it's not worth it. Right. Um, none of them are having any kind of Overwatch things go on. And it's like, how do you build an interest if nobody's playing the damn game? You know? Yeah. The other problem I have is I watch a shit ton of Overwatch video. Both just people screwing around on hilarious content, but also like meta discussions, team pro analysis, breakdown of games. I still have a problem following the action of a professional game. It moves very damn fast for one. There's a lot on the screen. They jump around between heroes a lot to show perspectives. But that fucks me up more than anything. Yeah. Um, because the other thing is that they do too is... The teams... Stay the color... When you're spectating. So... You have one team is red, one team is blue, right? In Overwatch, you're used to the reds are the bad guys, you're always the blue team, right? Yeah. But when you're spectating... Everybody's blue. Well, no. One's actually red, one's actually blue. In spectator mode, right? So what happens is, they spectate from the red team tracer. So the red team tracer is now attacking a blue team mercy. And it still takes my mind a moment to, like, process of, like... Holy shit, that McCree just ran by... Oh, wait. No, fuck. That's her McCree. On his, her team, yeah, she needs to be hitting the mercy. And then they switch to the blue McCree for his view, and my mind has to like, oh shit, that's right, now the reds are the bad people. Oh, wait, fuck, nope, the reds are the good ones. Now. Nope, fuck, they're the bad. And I can't fucking follow the game. Um, I don't know how you solve that, to be honest. You know? Yeah. Like, that, it's hard to watch a Dota match. Um, and that is just a top-down view. You know? This is first person. Much wow. What the hell? Transfer into a wolf. Okay, it looks like a cat, but sure. 